of Victory Celebration. Hilton Head Island Elementary School held a special breakfast to celebrate these students for successfully storming the Citadel. Over the weekend, the students won several trophies at the Science, Technology, Engineering, and Math competition in Charleston. The club's advisor recorded video of the students competing in the robotics events. We competed in Lego Golf, and it's basically where there are six pucks on a table, and your robot starts wherever it wants, and you try to put the pucks in this hole, and you're competing against another robot. So our coding actually didn't work at the beginning, so we could only get two pucks in, but then our robot went to the other side, and it just, like, stopped the other robot. So that's how we won. We won in the mystery challenge. And what you're supposed to do in the mystery challenge is you're supposed to try to get into all the squares or as many squares as you can get into it. There was a gray square, which was worth 15 points. There's also a black square that was worth 10 points. And if you went into the white square, you'd get five. And if you went back to the starting point from the white square, you'd get two. And so it was basically a maze. About 20 students from the school took part in the competition. And overall, the students won two first place trophies, two second place trophies, and an honorable mention. As their teacher and their coach, it just makes us so proud to see them truly problem solving and like thinking through how to recode their robot. I mean, these problem solving skills are so hard to teach, especially to like elementary kids. And this just gives them a hands-on experience to work together. And I feel like competitions like this just gets them the hands-on experience where they're able to problem solve and work together so they can come out on top. Throughout the competition, the students are constantly writing new codes and making changes to their robots. The students say the STEM skills they're learning now will help them in their futures. Basically just how to code a robot and I think that's helpful because if you're an adult and you're like an engineer or something, you could learn how to like code things or if you're like some sort of job in that, it's helping you early on. I learned a lot of stuff about STEM doing Storm Citadel, especially how motors work, sensors, all the other like robotic parts. Students from Coosa Elementary School also took part in Storm the Citadel, winning two trophies. For the Beaufort County School District, Ron Lopes.